Alright, here we go. The way it should be done is we have a flat earth and we have a oops, we have the zenith of Polaris. Now if you move 10 degrees over the way it should be done is let's say every two every every two marks is 10 degrees it should be plotted like this on a flat earth with everybody on the flat earth looking at the same point in space where Polaris is hold on looking at the same point in space that's not what the data tells us so you claim you're looking to the same point in space living on a ball, looking to Polaris. You are triangulating. Well, the data say you can't. No, that's not what the data say, Sean. Now, the proper way to do it is like this. This is reality. Every one of these people, see these radiating lines from, from uh, the center are perpendicular to the Earth at their respective points. But the little lines to Polaris. Let me make it a little bit more clear. In orthographic side view. So this only shows the altitude. Not azimut, Sean. This is my homemade app. And it uses the Hipparcos database. The star catalog which is the most uh, accurate star catalog in existence. So, and, and to, to make it real clear, he used the Hipparcos data, which is accurate to 0 0.002 arc seconds or milli arc second precision for where stars are actually located. So he was able to get much better precision in that so that they could measure uh, the the positions of the stars where we now have Hipparcos data that's uh, uh, milli, millimeter arc second accurate. So now the proper way to do it is like this. No, that's by no means a proper way to do it, Sean. You not even use the data, the celestial data. These observer locations are all on the prime meridian. Observing Polaris. So this is the altitude. These angles have a couple of hundred degrees. In between them. So looking at this orthographic view, side view, they would deviate a little bit. Now the proper way to do it is like this. That's a nice trick, Sean. Zooming out and then all these lines appear to go to Polaris. Like a triangulation. Do you call this to the same point in space? But what... Uh, about the azimut. If you would twist your uh, orthographic view uh, 90 degrees around, and if we look at the azimut on the 85th latitude north, the azimut of Polaris is uh, 7.21, and here at the equator, 0.61. This is all in the same moment in time. And these lines deviate more than six degrees from vertical. This is reality. I think it's a twisted reality. Or maybe half of the reality, Sean. Let's do the front view with that uh, six degree deviation. Let's put all these azimuts. 
from these locations in an autographic front view and see how it looks like this is the prime meridian and this is Polaris at the 85th latitude north which at an angle of 7.2 degrees this is the 80 latitude and this is an angle of 3.56 degrees and this was the 70th latitude which at an angle of 1.79 60 latitude north this had an angle an azimuth of 1.22 and here the 50 latitude north this had an angle of 0.95 degree and here at the equator 0.61 degree so now let's see how that looks like <laughs> Holy shit! Sean! Where is your Polaris? And now we can calculate the angular deviation. This was 0.61 degree. And for the 85th lot in the north, it was 7.21. And Polaris is 430 light years away. And now we can calculate uh, the angle of separation. Oh! 49.4 light years! <laughs> Are we looking at the same Polaris? I don't think so. Now the proper way to do it is like this. This is reality. I showed you how to do it. The proper way. You did it, Sean. And why these uh, flat earthers? Never used the official data to break down this uh, globe idea. That's strange or not because it also kills their circling sun bullshit these flat earth clowns only like to debunk it with their mouth and talk a lot of bullshit to keep these uh, circling stars in the dome alive 